So 1 John chapter 3, verse 8 tells us, The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. Jesus not only cast out demons as part of his work on earth, as evidenced throughout the Gospels, but he taught about Satan and his demons. Then they brought to him a demoniac who was blind and mute, and he cured him, so that the one who had been mute could speak and see. All the crowds were amazed and said, Can this be the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, It is only by Beelzebul, the ruler of the demons, that this fellow cast out the demons. He said in response to them, No city or house divided against itself will stand. If Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then will his kingdom stand? If I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own exorcists cast them out? But if it is by the Spirit of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come to you. Matthew chapter 12, verses 22 to 28. So when you're dealing with entities, you want to set boundaries with divine support. Heavenly Father, I ask for your strength and guidance to establish clear boundaries in my life. Surround me with your divine shield, protecting me from any unwanted energy exchange. May your presence fortify my spirit. You ask for guidance and strength from God to establish and maintain your boundaries. You visualize the divine shield around you that prevents any unwanted energy exchange. Because those who are agents of Samael will do exactly that. You want to use grounding techniques of spiritual connection. Connect with God through prayer or meditation, asking for grounding energy. Focus your breath and feel the divine presence anchoring you to the earth. You may want to go somewhere in nature as well. Also, you may do energy cleansing through practices and rituals, asking for God's help. In cleansing your energy. This could include using holy water, burning incense, or simply invoking the divine light. Lord, I ask for your cleansing light to purify my energy. As I burn this incense, I invite your holy presence to fill my space. I also use holy oil and holy water as symbols of your protection and grace, cleansing me of any negative influences. You may also wish to protect your dreams through prayer. Before sleeping, ask for protection over your dreams. Ask God to surround you with a shield of light that keeps out negative influences and energies. Dear Jesus, I ask for your protection over my dreams. Surround me with your light, keeping away any negative influences or energies. May I rest peacefully in your embrace, shielded by you, Christ, from harm. You also want to cut cords from these entities, and you want to seek divine guidance in doing so. Lord Jesus, I come to you seeking help in severing any unhealthy connections that drain my energy. I visualize these cords being cut by your divine light. Please assist me in reclaiming my energy and my strength, and therefore restore my spirit. You, want to, you also want to seek support through your community. Reach out to your friends, your family, your spiritual community for support. Share your experiences and ask for their prayers or guidance, knowing that you're not alone. You want to pray for protection before sleeping. Pray for protection over your rest and your dreams. Ask God to surround you with a shield of light that keeps out any negative influences and energies. Christ, I humbly ask for your help in protecting me from any negativity or energy drain. Surround me with your love and light, shielding me from any harm. May I always feel your presence guiding and guarding me always. You want to reclaim your energy also with help from the divine. Affirm your right to your energy by stating your intent out loud. With God's help, I reclaim my energy and my strength. Trust that you are supported in this process and that you are protected. These prayers and rituals can deepen your spiritual practice while empowering you to protect your energy. Over the course of time, we may be tricked over many years getting into contracts or deals or engagements with people that we don't normally suspect as being under the work of Samael or the demons or the principalities. But these exact kind of people will come into your life and they will do their utmost to take you off your path, to try to tie you to things that are unpleasing to God, and to try to drain your energy wherever possible, taking your luck, your fortune, your great gifts and ability given to you by God, as they seek to find ways to bamboozle you or pull the wool over your eyes. You must always be mindful. And when these greedy people try to get in your energy, they will do anything to get back in it, whether it means coming into your dreams, maybe dreams of seduction, where you're unaware and you're unwitting. 
and then you allow it to happen. And when you allow it to happen, now the entity feels that they are entitled to come again and again, to take from you ever, however they see fit. You must rebuke them and you must revoke any idea that they might be welcome. Because once they establish that they feel that they can gain entry, it's kind of like the old time vampires that do not come into your house unless you ask them in. Right? You say, oh, come in. You know, would you like to come in? Or maybe they may even ask you, can I come in? And unwittingly you say yes, not realizing that this is a hardcore rule. That they cannot invade a space that you have denied them entry to. But once you open the door and you let them in, now they feel that they can come and go as they please. And you need to revoke that at all costs. You need to let them know they are not welcome. Any previous ideas of consent or permission are revoked. And that you continue to rebuke them and indicate that they shall not come here. And that no matter what it is they try to do, you will not agree to allow them entry again. They may try to take many forms. They may try to even do things like maybe send you weird emails or weird text messages. Things that basically seem harmless enough. Like, oh, don't you remember me? You know, we were talking the other day. You know, uh, you know who is this number? You know, can we be friends? These folks are trying to set a trap. The trap they're trying to set is that they're trying to get you to engage with them. You don't know who it is, is on the other end of that call, that email, that text message. But they're trying to get you to be friendly with them because as long as you entertain them, then they're trying to tell the universe, hey, I've had contact with this person. This person spoke to me openly and freely. We are friends. We are in communication with each other. Therefore, we are somehow connected. By using this technique, they're trying to get back in your good graces, whether you know it or not. Because no one said they had to come in with the truth. No one said that they somehow had to follow a rule to let you know what it is they're trying to do. But they're going to try to do it because they're desperate to get back into your energetic field, into your space, into your life, so they can suction from your chakras. They can attach invisible cords and just pretty much steal however they see fit. But you must be vigilant and you must be on guard because they will come again and again and again, desperate to trick you and steal your energy. And you can never never give in you must always be wary you must always be on guard at some point the universe will deal with them accordingly but in the meantime as long as they continue their attempts you have to do everything in your power to keep them out and keep them away and continue to insist to the universe and consist to the lord that they are not welcome and you do not re-establish communication or permission in any way for them to be part of your lives again this is truly important this is something that you should not ignore. If you enjoyed this message, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome aboard. This is Safe Space. If you are returning, I'm glad that you're back. Thank you for your support of this channel. And of course, if you are one of these entities trying to attach to me, merely watching this video will not establish any connection between you and I. I hereby rebuke any contact, any consent, and that I have nothing to do with you. The agents of Samael, the agents of Satan, the demonic, demonic principalities, and all the like, you are not welcome here. And I cast you out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and our Lord God and the Holy Spirit. Amen.